All right, so let's actually talk about editing Gateway's configuration now. Uh, I showed you earlier that you could go in and just edit some stuff directly in the table. Right now we're in all gateways, so we only got name that we can edit. But if we go and look at DMX gateways, again, we have the name, but now we also have port mode, port universe for the two or four ports of the gateway. Uh, but there's a couple other ways to get into editing the gateways. You right click on edit device configuration. We've got that here. We've got edit device configuration. We've got control E. All of these things do the same thing. And if we're in all gateways, double clicking will open the gateway configuration. This dialog has four different tabs. We'll go through all four of them in sequence. But uh, the first one, identity, you got the software version here. You have the name, which is editable from this screen. And then the network addresses, this whole section. You can see that the addresses are here, but grayed out. The IP address, subnet, and, and gateway IPs. And over here we have static IP address or dynamic IP address. Right now it's set to dynamic, meaning that it got it from a DHCP server on the network. I can't click on any of this because it's locked. The IP address settings are locked. If we click on this, we enter the password. This is net3 and hit OK. Now we see that we can edit the address fields of all devices. Now, this still isn't editable. Why? Because it's dynamic. It gets the, this information from a server on the network. If we click over to static, now we can edit this and set a static IP address and call it done. I'm going to put this back to dynamic and I'm going to lock it again. Here you can set the TFTP server and it'll store and keep that in the gateway. We saw that before in the update software dialog that you could set it from either the one that it has stored. This is a place where you can edit that IP address that it stores in the gateway. Or you can use the one locally on the computer or specify a different one entirely. Uh, also, you can identify the gateway. If you type in, let's say, five seconds and click flash backlight. Well, in a rack behind me, there is a gateway LCD is flashing. So I go, oh, that's the one in the rack. Uh, it'll also be displaying the name Ford. So either one, it'll help. And then real quick, update software. will update this one gateway to go and download software from the server. Reboot device will re reboot this particular gateway. Reset to defaults. You can do this from the front panel on the gateway, but you can also do it from here remotely. If you click on this, uh, it'll bring up a dialog saying, are you sure? And then it'll restore factory defaults uh, and Ford will go away. Uh, reset dynamic IP means it'll dump this information and go and ask for a new IP address from the DHCP server in all likelihood if it's just sitting there on the network and nothing has changed, it will probably get the same IP address back. If you've moved networks and you're talking to it, this will force it to dump what it has and go get something new. We're going to go on to the next tab in the next video. See you over there.